Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley and today we are doing a spleen and earth element balancing yoga practice for the late summer and early autumn. So in Chinese medicine, we have a fifth season known as late summer and it's during this season that things like damp heat builds up in the body. Damp heat can be caused by a combination of different things. Generally, it's environment combined with lifestyle choices. And sometimes it also has a lot to do with your body's normal constitution. So if you tend to already have a lot of dampness naturally in your body, like in the Vedic tradition, there's the Kapha body type, and those types would tend to have more dampness in their bodies naturally. So then we have to do things to kind of counteract that dampness, whether we're getting it from the environment, from our lifestyle, or from just our constitution. Most of the time during the later part of summer, there are monsoons or rainier days. And so we still have hotter temperatures and rainier days, and that combines together to create a damp heat in the environment. If we're also eating things that are pretty classic for summer season foods like ice cream, high sugar foods, lots of dairy, cheeses, then this could also be exacerbating damp heat inside of your own system, inside your body. So things that you can do to help your damp heat are, of course, cleaning up the diet, especially during this particular time of year. It's the perfect time to switch over to a bland diet temporarily. Bland not meaning that your food isn't flavorful, just meaning that you're not putting extreme flavor, not extreme spicy, sweet, salty, sour, and so on. So kind of like somewhere in the middle, very moderate. And then other things you can do, of course, like what we're gonna do today is using your yoga asana practice to help mitigate these effects of damp heat. So we're really working with the spleen and stomach meridians and also the solar plexus chakra. And so we're doing things like gentle twisting, some side body stretching, and also some grounding through some one-legged balancing poses. What these postures will help us do is to help balance the energy in our body and direct the flow of energy to where it needs to go. So we're helping to drain dampness and clear heat through this process. So if you're ready, so am I. Let's go ahead and get started. Feel free to close your eyes. Just take a nice seat. Connect with your natural breath. Just take a moment here to notice how you're feeling today, maybe physically, emotionally and mentally, spiritually. And just allow yourself to greet yourself where you're at, using this practice as a tool to help you rather than to hurt you, to use this practice to guide you, to make you feel your best. Take a full breath in through your nose. Exhale with a sigh. And gently open your eyes. Let's begin with some cat and cow. Come onto your hands and knees, all fours. And then around your spine, from the base of your spine, moving vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way up, chin to chest. And on your inhale, reverse the movement, lengthen your spine, curl into your lower, middle, and upper back. Just continue at your own pace with your breath, really activating your core with each rounding, stretching it with each lengthen. Feel free to add any extra movements like swinging your hips side to side, doing crazy eights, spirals, whatever feels good. Come into a downward facing dog, lift your knees, reach your thighs back, heels toward the floor. Feel free to straighten your legs or keep your knees slightly bent. Create space from hips to armpits as you push through your arms and legs. Just 
Shift forward to the top of a push-up, plank pose. Hold your plank, push your hands down, apart, and toward your feet. Round your lower, middle, and upper back, lift your chin. Pull yourself forward to the tops of your toes, and then lower halfway down, chaturanga. Lower all the way down, push your hips down and forward, shoulders back, curl back for cobra pose. Squeeze your elbows towards your ribs, gaze between your third eye or at your nose. Lower down, push all the way up to plank, and then press back to downward dog. Bring your feet together, then lift your right leg high, push through your right leg, then bend your right knee, stack your hips, kick your right foot toward the wall at your left, keep your left shoulder as high as your right shoulder. Square your hips. Take your right knee to your right armpit, round your spine, and hold here. Kick back. Take your right knee to your left armpit, hold. Reach back. Take your right knee to your nose, round your spine, hold. Reach back. Take your right foot in between your hands. Keep your back heel lifting, lift your torso, lift your arms, lunging warrior one. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward, ribs back, and then lengthen through the sides of your body out through your fingertips. Take your left hand to the floor under your shoulder. Keep your right arm up and twist to your right. Feel free to use your right hand on your thigh instead. Keep pushing through your back leg, reaching through both arms, widening your right knee to the right. Downward dog. Feel free to stay here, shift into plank, chaturanga. This time upward dog, straight arms, hips almost touching the floor, shoulders back, curl back. Downward dog, push back. Bring your feet together. Then lift your left leg high. Reach your leg long, then bend your knee. Stack your hips. Kick your foot toward the right wall. Pull your right shoulder away from the floor. Keep all the length. Square your hips. Left knee to left armpit. Hold. Reach back. Left knee to right armpit. Twist and hold. Reach back, right, left knee to nose. Kick back, lunging warrior one, step forward, back heel lifting, lift your torso, lift your arms, stretch up, reach through your fingers, pull your ribs back, tone your abdomen. Twist, right hand under your shoulder, left arm up or left hand to thigh. Keep lifting your back thigh, reaching through your arms. Chin away from your left shoulder, ears away from shoulders. Downward dog. Plank, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra. Downward dog. Walk your feet a little closer to your hands. Bend your right knee, push through your right arm, and take your left hand to your outer right shin or somewhere toward your ankle. Twist your torso to the right, gaze to the right, maybe up under your right armpit. Stay here or straighten your right leg, push your thigh back, try to get your hips square. Breathe, revolve dog. Lower your left hand, bend your left knee. Right hand to your left shin or ankle. Twist, then maybe straighten your leg. Heel toward the floor, square your hips. Don't hold your breath. Downward dog. 
Look forward between your hands, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, feel free to bend your knees, ribs to thighs, face toward your shins. Push your hands down and forward and your feet down and back. Lift your shoulders away from your ears and onto your back. Bend your knees so your thighs are more parallel to the floor, maybe a little higher than your knees. Then lift your torso, lift your arms as high up as you can. Pull your shoulders back. Do a big upper back back bend. Tailbone slightly pushing towards your heels, but keep a curve in your lower back. Maybe look up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Mountain pose. Bring your feet together. Push through the inner edges of your feet. Reach through your fingertips. Pull your shoulders back. Lift through your chin. Keep your chin level with the floor. Then reach your arms up. Interlace fingers. Extend pointer finger across your thumbs. Crescent pose. Lean your hips to your left. Torso to your right. Lean just as much with your hips to the left as you're leaning your torso to the right. So you're creating a balance here rather than crunching, rather than too much pressure on one side of your back. Slowly stand up, switch sides, hips to your right, torso to the left, all at the same rate. Be as sideways as possible. Push evenly through your feet. Slowly stand up. Place your hands on your hips. Bend your knees and then step your feet wide. From here, fold in between your legs. Make sure your toes are turning in slightly. Push your thighs back and then take your hands to the floor under your shoulders, straighten your arms, lengthen your spine from hips to armpits, and then pull your rib cage back toward your spine to tone your upper and middle abdomen. Feel free to stay here or walk your hands further back between your feet. Keep your arms straight at first. Put your shoulders back and start to melt your heart between your arms without bending your elbows. Lift your chin away from your chest, then bend your elbows to reach your heart first, head last in between your legs. Lean more forward into your big toe mounds, but keep your heels firmly rooted. Pull your shoulders back and away from the floor. And just breathe here. Prasada Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Hands on hips, shoulders back, stand up. Warrior two, reach your arms wide, turn your right toes out. Bend your right knee directly above your right ankle, widen your right knee to the right. Try to get your thigh parallel to the floor rather than being up like so, unless that's better for you. Push more through your back outer foot, reach out through your fingertips. Keep your chin level with the floor as you gaze beyond your right fingers. Straighten your right leg. Triangle pose to your right. Lean your hips to your left. Torso to your right, just like you did in crescent. Take your right hand to your shin, ankle, or the floor, or a block. And then twist more toward the ceiling as you pull your left ribs back. Tailbone forward. Extend through your sternum and pull your shoulders back and away from your ears. Maybe look up without taking your chin to your left shoulder and without taking your right ear to your right shoulder. Extended side angle, bend your right knee above your ankle. Right hand outside foot or forearm to thigh. Extend your left arm beyond your ear. Push through your back leg. Keep twisting open, open, open toward the ceiling. Stand up. 
Warrior two, turn your right toes in, left toes out, bend your left knee, gaze beyond your left fingers, grow taller through your torso, ribs back, tailbone forward, grow your back leg longer. Triangle, straighten your left leg, lean your hips to the right, torso to your left, left hand to shin, ankle or floor, turn open toward the ceiling, reach through your arms, reach through your legs. Side angle. Bend your left knee, left hand outside foot or forearm to thigh, reach through your right arm, pull ribs back, twist open, widen your left knee to the left. Stand up. Turn your left toes in. Bring your fingertips in front of your heart, bend your knees, step or jump, feet together, arms by your side. Tree pose, take your right foot anywhere along the inner edge of your left leg. Push your foot and leg into each other. Join your palms in front of your heart. Maybe take your arms over your head, either shoulder distance or palms together. Gaze softly at a point out in front of you. The further up you lift your gaze, the harder it gets to balance. Some people even opt for looking straight up between their hands. Lower your hands, lower your foot. Second side, left foot to inner right thigh. Push foot and leg into each other. Palms together in front of your heart. Maybe reach your arms over your head. Widen your left knee to the left. Grow longer through your side body, front body, and back body. Lift your gaze to wherever is optimal for you today. Lower your hands, lower your foot. Great, eagle pose. Take your right arm under your left arm. Either hold shoulders, join backs of hands or palms. Pull your elbows forward and down. Bend your knees, reach your thighs back. Keep your abdomen toned. Stay here on two legs or lift your right knee up. Maybe even tap your knees to your elbow. Then cross your knee over your other knee. Squeeze leg to leg, maybe hook foot behind your calf, and then try to square your hips forward. Pull right hip back. Stand up, arms by your side, mountain. Then switch sides, left arm under, bend your knees, left leg over. Tap knee to elbow, knee to knee, lean back on your standing heel, gaze softly at a point out in front of you, don't hold your breath. Mountain. Go ahead and have a seat on your bottom. Bring your legs out in front of you with your knees bent, and then lean a little bit behind your sitting bones. Lift your lower back in and up. Grab the backs of your thighs. Lean back, slide your heels in, knees as close to your chest as you can get them. Take your shins parallel to the floor. Either hands on thighs, knees bent or legs straight, or hands on out in front of you, <laughs> knees bent or legs straight. And breathe. Boat pose, Navasana. Lift your sternum, 
Try not to round your lower back too much. Take your hands behind your head. Lower down to half boat. Shoulder blades off the floor, toes and eyes level. Breathe. Shaking is normal. Boat. Cross your ankles and then just sit up tall, lengthen through the top of your head. All right, take your feet stacked to the right of you and then pull your heels close to your bottom. Take your top foot into your bottom foot's arch and point your top foot straight back for Bharad Vajrasana. Lift up your hips for a moment and use your right hand to slide your inner left thigh down into the left and then reset your hips on the floor. Take your right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind you. Push through your hips, lengthen through the top of your head and start to twist vertebrae by vertebrae up as you look toward the wall behind you. You can either keep this variation or flip your right palm so your fingers point upside down and your palm points out and then hook your fingers underneath your thigh close to your knee. You can stay here or wrap your left arm behind you. Some of you may be able to grab your right arm. Then turn your gaze toward your knees. Lift your head, switch sides, swing your legs over to the other side, left foot on top of right foot, lift your hips, slide your inner right thigh flush down and wide, twist to the right, maybe stay here or hook your left fingers under your right thigh, maybe wrap your right arm behind you, maybe even grab your left arm. And then twist everything to the right and then turn your gaze toward your left and down. Slowly lift your head, untwist. Take your legs straight out in front of you. Make sure you're sitting on your sitting bones. Feet can be hip distance or together. And then start to fold over your legs. Face toward your shins. Paschimottanasana. Inhale, lengthen, sit up, slide your hips forward to lie on your back. Once you're on your back, take your left leg straight and then pull your right knee toward your chest, interlacing fingers around your shin. Pull your knee outside your rib cage, high up toward your armpit and then back into the midline, pushing hands into leg, leg into hands. Keep your left toes and knees pointing up We'll let your right ankle relax. Hook your right toes behind the back of your left knee and twist the lower half of your body to the left. You can come up all the way onto your outer left hip, but try to keep your right shoulder on the floor right arm out to the right. You can use your left hand pushing into your right thigh and your thigh pushing back into your hand. Your knee does not have to come all the way to the floor. If you have SI joint, sacroiliac joint issues, it is actually recommended not to take it all the way down. Slowly untwist, hips to center, right leg straight, bend your left knee, grab your left shin, pull your knee wide outside your rib cage, high up towards your armpit, and then back to the midline, 
Pushing hands into leg, leg into hands. Breathing here. Relax your left ankle. Twist, left foot behind your right knee, left arm to the left. Come all the way to your outer right hip, push left thigh into right hand, hand into thigh. Slowly come out, hips to center, legs straight, reach your arms and legs in opposite directions, fingers beyond your head, legs toward the opposite wall, pull your ribs toward the floor, tailbone toward the ceiling. And whenever you're ready, you rest in Shavasana for a couple minutes. Take your legs a little wider than your hips, arms a little wider than your torso, palms point up. Relax everything and just breathe here. Take a full breath in. Exhale, let it out with a sigh. Gently wiggle your fingers and toes, and then bend your knees. Roll to one side. Slowly press yourself back to seated. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you don't miss a class that I post. Have a wonderful rest of your day.